pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Good morning, fans, and welcome to WFI News. I'm Jaina Jones. And I'm Abigail Avery with your lunch and a few announcements. Today for lunch, we'll be having spaghetti, baked sweet potatoes, peas, garden salad, whole wheat roll, fresh fruit, milk, and as usual, your grab and go lunches. The robotics team will have a special practice today from 3 10 to 4 30 in room 9. Tomorrow, there will be a robotics championship competition from 4 to 6 at CJHS and expression rehearsals will be from 6 to 8. Make sure you have a ride to pick you up after all activities after school. Country meats are being sold at break for one for $1.50 and two for $3. Hat day will be next Friday, January 28th for $1. All donations will go to SGA. Hey fans, this is Abigail Avery with a few words of wisdom. It takes a lot of courage to resist peer pressure, whether you're an adult or a young person. That's right, adults have to deal with peer pressure too. To be a courageous human being can simply mean following your heart instead of the group. Sometimes being, sometimes being courageous is nothing more than being your own person and thinking for yourself. Here's what Cervantes' famous Spanish novelist says about courage. He who loses wealth loses much. He who loses a friend loses more. He who loses his courage loses all. The next time you're faced with peer pressure, have the courage to follow your heart. You may lose a friend, but remember, losing your courage is much greater than loss. Besides, if you're standing up for your, what your own right is, means losing a friend, maybe your friend wasn't a friend after all. With something to think about, this is Abigail Avery and Jania Jones. Make it a, a great, great day or not, the choice is yours. <laughs> And what is our change in one? Plus What's our change next? Two plus two. So our slope is five over two. So y equals mx plus b. I can substitute a y value, my slope, and an x value. Alright, what y value you will need? Zero. Alright. So y is zero. Slope is five halves. X would be 7 plus B. And then we can slope and Y is set to 1 and 5 equals, equals 5 and 1 and 5 and 1. And what does my graph tell me about how absences are affecting the score? They're, what's decreasing? Is your Y intercept at 50? Are you wrong? Yeah. Your Y intercept has to be somewhere in between. 90 and 100. Does that line touch every single point? No. Because no, what is the line? The line. It's just a line of, best fit. line of best fit and it's just an estimation. What happens to my score in class? My score is it's going down. Now I'm walking on the sunshine. 